course the company leaves it to me to break the news. God, how typical. What am I supposed to say again? Oh, hello. Sole heir to your family's fortune and company. Funny fucking story. <sighs> At least I'll finally be able to meet them. I cannot wait. Abroad! I was supposed to say that their father had a travel accident abroad. They couldn't recover the body. Yeah, that never sounds suspicious. Of course, their father did say that they never really got into investigative journalism, so I wouldn't be surprised if they just took it as is. Or maybe they're just trusting. Trusting and kind. Maybe that's what I'm there for. To keep them trusting and kind. I spent my entire childhood training to protect him and his family. I spent it fighting, crying, healing, only to break again. But my entire childhood, I heard about them too. I heard about the day they were born. Their father told me so. I was barely two or three years old. I saw their first steps on their father's video camera. Their first birthday. First day of school. These were things I never got to have. I got hitless when they were running wishlets to their parents, back when there were two of them. I saw their school pictures, their outfit for prom. I heard about their interests, their dumb jokes, about how proud their father was of them, even if he thought not being honest about this would encourage them to work hard, and hard, to get that pride they would had already earned, instead of turning into themselves and falling from their arduous labor. I don't exactly approve of what their father did to them, but I don't approve of how they slacked off either. Of course, how can I criticize either of them, when their father was the closest thing to a father I've ever had? And how can I criticize them when they're my whole world? They're the reason I'm here at all. My grand purpose. My life's mission. To criticize the world. My world would be ungrateful. There wouldn't be anything without my world. Not something to come from. Not something to return to. I'm no better than the moon or maybe any other person on this planet. And how could I criticize anything so talented and sweet and smart? How could I criticize anything that grew up so fast to continue to grow and change every moment? I... I remained stagnant. I was something. And then I was something else. I changed. But I didn't. I crawled. Then I walked. Then I ran. But I never felt like there was a progression of any sort. But I saw every moment of their life tick by and change, ever so slightly, daily and nightly. I can't wait to actually look into their eyes and feel like they see me too, the same way I saw them. Maybe, maybe I can bring the light back to their eyes. <sighs> but that's gonna have to wait. Follow orders. Follow your mission prerogative. You're going to need a new name, a new ID, a new location in order to keep an eye on them. And isn't it convenient that their father's company paid for a new house in the suburbs, right next to the one that the agency bought for them? They knew they'd take the death pretty hard, and thought that maybe... Maybe you need some time away from the hustle and bustle of their normal life. <sighs> I can't wait to move in. I can't wait to protect them. I'm going to protect my world from the world. How charmed. Hmm. I've spent my entire life either as their protector or training to be their protector. We were practically betrothed from the moment they were born. Does that not make me their wife? That's a nice thought. It has a nice ring to it. I can't wait to say it myself. Hello. Nice to meet you, Marjorie, from the library. I see you're getting a fight with my... 
Well, I'm their wife, so you might want to step off, you filthy b- No, no, no. No, no, no. 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 Prioritize. Recenter. Follow orders. Follow orders. That's my job, and I intend to do it. Oh? We're here? Why, thank you, kind sir. Please understand if you heard any of my... muttering to myself. That is to remain 100% confidential. No one is to hear of this, and if I found out that you did squeal like the pig you are, I'll give you something to squeal about, and maybe punch your throat in, too. Might as well stop any of that dead in its tracks, right? Right. Glad we understand each other. Hmm. Who would have thought black market dealings, demonic summonings, and homicide would lead to such a glorious little pecket fence life? How charmed is that? <coughs> Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I just moved in next door. Crazy, huh? My name is...